Hi, I'm Linda Mao, and welcome to Art This Week. On this week's episode, we visit the McNay Art Museum and speak with the artist, Leslie Dill, about her exhibition, Leslie Dill, Performance as Art. Now for Art This Week. Hi, I'm Leah Thompson with Art This Week. Today I'm here with artist Leslie Dill at the McNay's new exhibit, Performance as Art. Thank you for joining us, Leslie. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And so, uh, first question, uh, we'd like to know what exactly sparked your interest in the relationship between theater and words? What sparked my interest in the relationship between theater and words was reading the poetry of Emily Dickinson in a book that my mother gave me many years ago. The words were so alive. Um, I felt my life with both my hands to see if it was there, um, take all away from me but leave me ecstasy, that immediately images for making art and performance started coming to my mind. I was so lucky. Besides Emily Dickinson, obviously you've had a very strong uh, you know, relationship with her work over the years. Are there any other particular authors or uh, poems uh, that really have stood out to you, really influenced your work? Yeah, a good question. I was poetically monogamous to Emily Dickinson for seven years. I only used her words. I was completely immersed. But then I've strayed and I've worked with a, a living poet, contemporary poet, Tom Slay, who's an incredible American poet. And also I worked with Pablo, the words of Pablo Neruda and mm -hmm. also Salvador Espriu, who wrote this. He wrote, I have given myself to words, chewed this dog hunger into a long meal. I'll repeat, I have given myself to words, chewed this dog hunger into a long meal. And so I've used that in a lot of work. This entire exhibit spans over 20 years. Uh, how exactly was the exhibit itself organized? The exhibit here was organized through the incredible curator, Rene Barrio. He decided that this was worthy of being identified as a, as a body of work. And I'm so grateful to his recognition of this and um, identifying and giving, um, honestly, credit and glory to this, this aspect of my work. Your works overall, they're very physical and tactile. So there's the element of people in the operas, there's the dresses and the words themselves. Is there any one aspect of your work that you feel is most important to the overall experience? I like tactility. <laughs> I like to touch people and clothing and see what you're wearing. So I like to give that to the, the public, this feeling of tactility, because we all are reading on our Kindle. <laughs> We're all using our smartphones and we all go to movies. Mm -hmm. So tactility, I think we crave it. So I want to give it to you. And could you tell us a little bit more about uh, this particular piece? Mm -hmm. So this is a performance costume. The mm -hmm. costume itself performs, so it has choreography built into it. It's worn by someone on the ground, and the, the apron is in three panels. Mm -hmm. So they're rolled up, and, for, and then there are four performers, and they come up, and they untie, and they unroll first the bottom, and then the t next, and then the top. Altogether, what it says is a quote from Emily Dickinson that is, to be alive is power. Now, I believe that that's all this says over and over again, is to be alive is power. But I'll tell you the rest of it, and you will, you'll love it too. To be alive is power, existence in itself, without a further function, omnipotence enough. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Thank um, you. We want to thank Leslie for speaking with us. For more information on her, go to lesliedill.net. For more information on the exhibition, go to mcnayart.org. That's it for Art This Week. Thanks for watching.
still got your polo.